we are at the uh, Annette Hellings Gallery uh, in the middle of Jordan in Amsterdam. So what made you start as a gallerist? In 1992 I started a gallery with a partner and uh, it was actually born because in the 90s there were so many um, artists who didn't, young artists who didn't have galleries because the galleries were full or they didn't take on any young artists. So we started the gallery with a group of young artists who came directly from the Rietveld Academy or in, from other uh, academies mm -hmm. in, in the, not, not only in Holland, also abroad. In 19... 1999, we split and we both started our own galleries under our own names. So, in 19, end of 1999, the Annette Geling Gallery was born. What was it that made you uh, start a gallery? What was the, the trigger? Passion for the art and the, and the artist to work with people who bring you I mean, to another level of thinking and looking at things. That's for me the most important thing. I really like uh, to be triggered by what they're doing and that they bring me. Before I started the gallery, I already worked with artists. So it was, uh, and I, but I worked for other people. So it, the reason to start something for yourself was to that you that I really wanted to follow my own intuition and my own vision. When you work with an artist and you're trying to find a new artist, mm -hmm. what are you looking for? I'm looking for something I don't know. For me it's always it sounds very abstract but for me the most important thing is that when I see a work uh, it only gives me questions. So there should be something which attracts you. And um, yeah, that's also there. But then I want the work to be giving me questions. And um, uh, that there are a lot of different answers to it. It takes me always a little bit time to really get into an artist. How do you see yourself as a guiding light to sort of artists or new artists? Yeah, it's like some kind of very strange relationship you have. But uh, because, you know, you have, you have to trust each other. I mean, I have to trust that the artist is making good work and the artist has to trust me that I'm doing the best for him or her to bring the work uh, into the into the world. Yeah, it's a very uh, special relationship um, and a daring one. And you just try to, uh, from from the day you discover somebody, to uh, to develop his career. And that goes with a lot of thinking and rethinking and discussions. And, th and it's not only showing one time in a gallery, there's a lot of things around it. You can only do it when you do it together. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a good team in that, then there's the, it will never work. The art world has changed mm -hmm. over the last It has couple changed of years. a lot, I think, you know, I mean, for me, since I started and now it has been because it is so big and everything is so has become so complex but on the other hand it, it's also fantastic that you can now work with artists who live on the other side of the world and because of the internet and because of uh, easy communication you can have a relationship yeah you just have to uh, adapt to the new situation and we are always trying in the gallery to every day to, to improve ourselves and to look to the situation of today and of course it's always together with the artists to, uh, in, a, in, a, in a discussion. Mm -hmm.